Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Bean with another video. Unfortunately, my webcam is not working, so this video will be recorded without having any webcam. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the problems I also had in my current company and also my previous one. The thing is, um, we know that for notes, we have these numberings like one, two, three, four, five. But the thing is, I'm seeing that the drafter using uh, manual numbering, like typing one, then dot, then couple of spacing or tab, and then typing the, the text that they want. So the thing is, um, the problem with this is, whenever you're adding a new um, text, imagine that between three and four, Revit cannot re renumber it. So that means you have to change the numbering, which is, um, it may be a, a little bit of pain. And also, um, imagine that I want to um, make this note a little bit um, shorter or narrower. So if I use this grip and do it like this, you see that um, it's just not in right. It's just not right and graphically is not correct you, you can see that I mean this for example 2 and 16 is just there is a gap here there are gaps gaps here and even if I um, trying to make this one um, like this and bigger again things are not right so let's fix this one um, first of all, um, we have to um, delete all these manual numbers and have a very, very clean uh, text. So I'm starting from this five. So we have to select this one and delete them and delete them. And we have to also click here and enter the backspace until it goes to uh, the upper line. And we know that it should be as shown and then a space cannot be achieved. Notify engineer by RFI. So let's do it for all of them. So again, I will just back, leave a space bar there. And deleting that one, deleting that. So this one is fixed and also so I will keep this space here for now I'm going to fix this one and that for example do it like this so I just mistakenly deleted two uh, that one is correct well, actually it should be 2 and 16 like this 2 and 16 not 2 dash and 16 so fixing that one, fixing this, and also fixing this, another one, also fixing that, and fixing this. So in this project, we are actually using um, the view references to make our job easier but for now I'm going to actually delete them so just imagine that here there is a view reference I'll just, for now I will just just type it as a xxx and another xxx here Okay, cool. So, um, let's also delete these gaps. Okay, now the text is ready. So I think I have to also fix this one. And now it's good to go. So the thing is, I'm going to select all of them, all the text, and on the paragraph, you can just select numbers. And boom, it's done. So 
there is a problem here so we have to also have a number here so I'm going to um, hit the backspace and enter again so this is the text I want so if I try to drag this circle so you can see that it is still readable so there is no problem with the text is clean and readable I can change it to any setting that I want but the thing is in our standards we want to have uh, a gap between each um, paragraph so I'm going to select um, at the end of this S and entering the enter button you will see that the Revit will add the numbering 2 then immediately I'm using the backspace to delete it so I'm going to do it again here after O I'm clicking enter then backspace again enter the backspace enter the backspace so still we have five texts and we have also the gap and also the text is completely clean so now imagine that I want to um, add another text between three and four so let's say that it just this text I'm just going to copy paste it. it can be copy pasted from another sheet or it can be copy pasted from a markup um, but I'm just wanted to show you if, if I want to add it between 3 and 4 how this will happen so after 3 I'm going to enter and another enter and control V to paste it here and I'm going to click here and using the backspace so now all the numbers are right so I have another text here between 3 and previous 4 now is numbered as a 4 and this one was previously 5 now it's automatically changed to 6 so again if I want to change this text um, its width you can see that it's completely readable and I don't need to be worried about um, checking the text about if the text is looks right or whatever because sometimes I'm seeing that for example things will be added in this area and you have to for example move your legend a little bit there and then you see that oh, okay so I have to actually use this um, blue circle to um, align the text to here then I'm going to drag it and I will see that okay now this one is actually is clean but in the previous setup using the manual numbering it wasn't so always please 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 whenever you want to um, number and notes please use the numbering because it just easier makes your life easier makes your colleagues life easier this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching